Hey everyone, in today's iPhone video, I wanna show you how to change or record your voicemail settings right on your iPhone. And it's a very simple process. You just gotta know where to go on the menu. It's actually not inside of the settings. It's under the phone icon on the bottom of the page. So if you have your phone green phone icon, go ahead and press that. And it will take you to your dial page where you have your contacts, recent calls and voicemail. So on the bottom right, go ahead and click voicemail. And here on the voicemail page, you'll have all your voicemails and you also have your greetings where you could change it on the top left. You see the word greeting, press that. And here you're gonna have a couple options. If you've never set it, it's gonna be on the default mode where it basically says you've reached someone's voicemail or custom, that's the one you could record. So I'm gonna change it from default to custom. Sometimes you'll have to wait for retrieving greetings. So as you could see on top, it's buffering. So I gotta wait a minute. And then once that's done, I'm gonna press custom here. So now when it says set your outgoing message, I'm gonna choose custom here and I could basically press record. I don't have one yet. So if I did, it would allow me to play it and listen to it. But now I'm gonna go ahead and record. So press record. Sorry, I missed your call. Please leave your voicemail after the beep and I'll call you back. Thank you. Press stop. And now I could press play. And then if I don't like what I hear, I could press record one more time. And when I'm satisfied, I could press save on the top right and it's gonna save my greeting and that's all I have to do to set a new voicemail on my iPhone. You could always come back to this page, press record one more time and replace your voicemail here, your greeting here, and you should always use someone else's phone to call to see how it sounds from a different device. That way you'll get to know exactly what other people hear when they call your phone. And one last thing I wanted to show you, if you don't see that play and record option on the bottom, you don't have visual voicemail set up on your phone and that's through your provider. So if you have AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile or any other provider, you need to have visual voicemail. So make sure you connect with them to make sure you have it if you don't see that play and record. And that way you'll just have to basically record and use a different device to call yourself to hear your voicemail. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for easy to follow how-to videos and tech videos just like this one. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.